Tommy, and Jim, come on up here. A number of months ago, we talked about having a flagpole here, and so we decided, well, maybe we can find someone to donate one or something like that. We weren't able to find that. But we did find one that had been taken down at uh, Color Sages uh, School. And uh, David Curtis, David, come on up this way. David Curtis, our director of maintenance, responsible for all of this, uh, getting it done. Uh, and uh, David was here in school when there was a flagpole here, he said. And the unusual thing about it is when they dug the hole for this one is that they found the remains of where the other one was in the ground. <laughs> so his spot was pretty good as to where he put that flagpole. But we requested from one of our senators, Senator Richard Burr from North Carolina, to see if he could find a flag for us that had been flown over the Capitol in Washington. And so he was able to do that, and this flag that I have in my hand here was flown over the Capitol in Washington on December the 11th, 2012. Uh, it was back in December. They sent the flag on to us, and we've just kind of been waiting for an opportunity to get this, uh, to get this done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present this flag to our chairman of the school board, Jim Breedlove, and then... Uh, Ask him just to say a word, and then Mr. Cave, who's a veteran, to say a word. Mr. Shields also, and then we'll then we'll raise the flag. So, Tommy, I'm going to defer to Tommy and say thank you for your foresight. I haven't noticed it, and it's a wonderful thing you're doing, and we should have thought about it before. So, thank you for bringing it to our attention. I feel like it's something we should be doing. Give Mr. Shields the best passion, so he's the third one. I'm the oldest child of <laughs> But, yeah, it, you know, Gary and I both did a lot, but maybe a bunch of you. The only reason we serve is we serve this fight, to have this opportunity to come out here and do things like this. We fight for this freedom. And he was in Vietnam, I was offshore of a submarine, so I didn't quite make it before he did. He had it rougher than I did. But, uh, that's something that most veterans really look forward to. I mean, and I, I'm like uh, Jim said, I never really noticed there wasn't a flag here. You just assume, I guess. And uh, it's hard to get them. I know two, a couple years ago, I did get one from uh, uh, Sewer's office uh, when he was in, but going to middle school. So now we've, uh, we've got another one, and I think we're proud of it. So appreciate everybody coming out here, too. It's always an honor for a veteran to be among other veterans. It's always an honor for a veteran to be among, among citizens. Uh, then again, it's an honor to be a veteran. And to be in the situation that we're raising the flag, like this morning, uh, that tops it all. That's the United States flag. That's what we fought for. That's what we honor. And uh, the meaning of the flag has it's so in-depth that uh, it's just about spiritual so, to a lot of us. And we hope uh, that this is the last
Shields, would you do the honors of leading us all in the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here this morning. and. Uh, It'll forever fly, so thank you. Thanks, so thanks David, we know it's in the ground. Thanks to the media. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. The sun came out.